Around the world, millions of gallons of vodka are consumed every year. Most people choose to drink it, but the Mythbusters have been testing it for other uses. As a bee killer, it was busted. <laughs> That's terrible, they're drunk. As a mouthwash for Adam, it defied all odds. Not that bad. It even removed the cheese from Adam's feet. <laughs> and it rose to the occasion by freshening up the smell of a chain-smoking jacket. So this is the better smelling one, right? And it's the one oh. that we sprayed vodka on. Oh. Yeah, if it's going to help it, just pour it on there. First up, can vodka combat poison oak? Well, we've grabbed our passports and crossed the Golden Gate Bridge, the home of our sound recordist, who lives on the frontier of West Marin. And our search is for poison oak. Why poison oak? It's another vodka-related myth. Apparently, if you pour vodka over an area that's been affected by poison oak, it will remove the arushio oil and prevent you from developing a rash. Tori's drawn the short straw. Ironic, isn't it, that I'm protecting myself from poison oak just so that I can rub it on my arm later. Well, you don't want it everywhere. Looking more like Ghostbusters than Mythbusters, Tori prepares to take one for the team. This? Yeah. Oh, okay. See how it glistens uh, with poison? Get the scissors. You guys sure that's poison oak, right? Yeah, it's got the three leaves. It's that <laughs> beautiful dark green color. Carrie's ruled out of this rash myth as she's been dangerously allergic to poison oak since childhood. What are you trying to do, get enough to make a salad? Oh. According to some, chewing poison oak protects against its effects. Others say it will make you very, very sick. So what's the toxic ingredient? And what makes them painful is the arushio oil, and that's the active ingredient that causes an allergy in 90% of people. Remember that figure, 90%. And the most common side effect is a rash, but some people have such a severe reaction that they have to be hospitalized. No problem. Tari's health insurance is paid up. And in any case, vodka may just work. This is going against everything I've ever been taught as a kid. It's like boggles my mind. His arm is divided into three sections, and the poison oak is applied. Oh. It's OK. It's not like you've never had a rash before. That's right, that was that time that you and I were hanging out, <laughs> and you gave it. In section one, they use an orthodox remedy, a commercial bomb. Rub it in. It cleanses and decontaminates skin by removing the invisible oils. Now for the vodka, which they pour over a separate section of skin. The middle section is left untreated as the control. Well, I hope you don't have a date tonight because you're showing up smelling like liquor, poison oak on your arm. That works every time. <laughs> Okay, now I guess we just wait and see what happens. Let's all group hug. Yeah. Yeah. No? Let the games begin. 13 days ago, I put poison oak on my arm, but apparently I don't get it anymore. <laughs> I mean, I got it when I was a kid, but I don't get it anymore. So I need your arm. I need somebody, you know, a weaker individual. Or not individual, but. While Tori gloves up, Adam freaks out. <laughs> But he needn't have worried. Turns out he, too, is one of the 10% who are immune to poison oak. So poison oak. I did the test a week ago, and it seems that the myth now isn't about poison oak and vodka as a topical, uh, topical treatment. It's about whether or not a myth buster can actually get poison oak. <laughs> so now it's your turn. <laughs> oh, it's cold. And what do you know? Tori tried it. Yeah. Adam tried it. Yeah. And now two weeks later, I have no rash. But you're allergic. They've tested the leaves at a lab, and it really is poison oak. Seems like Mythbusters is hosted by mutants. So how about the crew? We have got to get a result on this one. There's just no if, ands, or buts about it. So we're going to have to test it on three people this time. Hopefully, one of them might possibly be allergic to poison oak. Press ganged into compliance, they offer themselves up for science. With this myth on the line, it's rash up or flunk out. It's been 24 hours, you guys. What do you got? Nothing. Flunked. Not enough to call anything at this point. Flunked. Hey! 
<laughs> and straight A's for John the Researcher. That is definitely poison oak. I'm, I'm glad you guys are really happy about this result. <laughs> this is a very, very clear cut result. Vodka and Control have the same amount of rash. The commercial topical brand, there's really nothing to speak of. I would say we can definitely call this one busted. Absolutely. I've taken one for the team. Just goes to show there's no I in Mythbusters.